In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the best shake effect in all of the weeks. And as you guys saw in the preview, I'm going to be putting a little blur twist to this shake here, so I'm excited to show you guys how to create that. So let's get right into After Effects. So now we're in After Effects and here I've imported some clips here. I'm gonna be showcasing this shake effect on here. And I have FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same composition settings as me. So we're gonna be starting off by basically creating a adjustment layer here, Control Alt Y. And for this adjustment layer, I'm gonna be making it uh, in total 10 frames in width here. And I have 24 frames per second, so I don't know the real math, but like a, a little bit under a half a second long, basically. Go to the first transition point here. Here go five frames to the right. Cut the adjustment layer, delete it. Go back to the transition point. One, two, three, four, five frames to the left. Cut it. And here we're going to be adding a transform. So here we got transform and we're going to be keyframing the position settings here. So keyframing the position settings at the default position at the beginning here. Go to the ending and here use the same uh, amount there basically. You can also create a marker here on the adjustment layer to easily see where the transition point is. And here at the transition point we want to create a huge movement to get some sort of impact here to our shake. So we're going to be playing around with the vertical settings here. So I'm going to be dragging this down like this. It's going to be a very very big movement here. Then we can go one frame before. Here we can drag it on the opposite side up a little bit. Then copy this keyframe, Control C. Go to the other side, press Control V, just like that. Then we can go to the second frame from the transition point, and here we can go opposite side, up a little bit, just like that. Same here, Control C. Other side, Control V. Here again, drag it to the opposite side, make the amount smaller, make the distance that it's uh, moving smaller. Control C. Other side, Control V, and then. For the last frame here, go up a little bit, barely any movement, then control C, control V on the other side. And now it will look something like this here. And this looks pretty, pretty bad, obviously, but uh, if we use motion blur to this, we get this impactful transition. And this looks insanely good, actually, actually insanely good here. So now we actually get a impact here for our shake, which is really, really nice. And now for the shake here, we're getting these black edges here, as you guys can see, we Go a little bit to so you guys see it's like fading in black how to get rid of that is by adding the motion tile effect drag it above the transform press mirror edges and here you can increase output height i'm gonna set it to 200 and we get something like this now insanely clean and now to create a little unique twist to this we're going to be adding radial blur to this we're going to be adding radial blur just like that and with this as you guys can see we get this like kind of circle radial <laughs> blur but uh, it looks super, super cool, and I think if we go in the middle here, at the transition point, we can set it to 25, keyframe the amount, go to the beginning, set it to zero, go to the ending, set it to zero again. We can open up the radial blur effect, select the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph, and here we create a simple sharp graph, so something like this here, simple sharp graph, so we get some great impact, and we get this kind of look here, insanely clean. This is insanely clean. And so you guys see how this looks in slow motion. We get this kind of radial touch here to the whole uh, shake effect, which looks absolutely incredible. And now when we're using the radial blur, you guys can see we're getting uh, black uh, edges here on the sides instead. So how to fix that is basically by going back to the motion tile effect here and we just increase the output width instead. So now we just put that to 200 as well. And as you guys saw, it disappeared which is nice. So we get this super, super clean, unique shake here, radial shake. And if you guys want to create it even more impactful, we can create a flash effect to this shake effect here. This is completely optional. You guys can uh, be satisfied with the effect we already have here. This is already a very, very clean shake here. But uh, just to create some uh, extra impact here, we're going to be adding exposure to this. Keyframe the exposure at zero. Go to the transition point, increase the exposure. And I mean a lot, maybe five. Go to the end, set it back to zero. Open up exposure, master, select the keyframes, press F9. Open up the graph, edit the graph like this. Simple, sharp graph here. We'll have to play and see how this looks, if it's too bright or not. I think this is actually pretty clean. We'll get a little shake flash there. 
Super, super clean transition here. Looks absolutely incredible, actually. Super, super clean. Simple, clean shake effect here. Absolutely incredible. With extra flash here, so now if we press Ctrl D, we can go to the next clips here. And now when we play it, it's going to look something like this. Incredible, absolutely incredible. I mean, crazy, crazy clean. And if you guys like this shake here we created, you're definitely going to be liking my Impact Transition Presets, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. Looks absolutely incredible. Literally has the craziest impacts you can possibly get. So how to use it is basically to be creating a new adjustment layer. We can make the shake adjustment layers here, invisible. Animation presets, user presets, impact transition presets. Here we can go to our first transition point. We can use the wide pixel impact, drag and drop. Open the adjustment layer and then align the keyframes with the transition, just like that. And now when we play, it's going to look something like this here. I mean, crazy clean. Absolutely incredible look here. Absolutely incredible. Has to be one of the best looking transition and impacts you can possibly have. This is, that looks hard. <laughs> that looks hard. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. And that's just one of the impacts you can have. We can make a new adjustment layer. Here we can use the flash warp impact. Drag and drop. It's going to look something like this here. I mean, insane. Absolutely insane. One of the cleanest transitions you can use. Let's create another adjustment layer. Here we can add radial impact, drag and drop. And now when we play it's gonna do something like this here. Insanely clean. And this is how all the impacts looks combined here. Don't need to say something, you know what I mean? Like it's crazy, crazy clean impacts here. And to check out the impact transition presets pack is gonna be linked down below with the all-in-one bundle as well, where you literally get my entire website for the fraction of the original price, plus all future packs. I'm releasing for completely free. Yes, you heard that right. It's a, it's a crazy deal. I don't know. It's a crazy deal. And crazy presets, as you guys can see here. So be sure to check them out. Other than that, thank you guys for watching this tutorial here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a nice day.